So it's 2023. I know you're probably thinking to yourself, man, my life is so boring. Or maybe you're in a hard situation and you need a change of pace. You need a way to get out of your hometown really quick. Or you want to just join the Navy because you're curious or you're thinking about joining the military in general. This video is for you. Uh, do me a favor right quick. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And let's get right into it. All right, so should you join the Navy in 2023? Uh, this was a question I had to ask myself about six months ago. I just graduated high school, was working at a restaurant, not really doing much with my life other than music. Uh, my dream, if you guys want to know this about me, uh, when I get out of the Navy, I want to do music full time, but I needed a way to get out of my hometown and meet people and make some connections. So the Navy was a great way for me to really take myself to the next level and start my adult life on the right foot, get some discipline right under me. Uh, it's been a minute since I've made one of these uh, Navy videos. Uh, but that's mainly just because I've been focused on a school and trying to get my rate. Uh, that's what we call like a job. Uh, so I hope that this video is helpful to you because ultimately guys, I'm here for you guys. You guys can leave any comments that you need. I'll try to answer your questions as best as I can. So, uh, should you join the Navy in 2023? Let's talk about it. All right. So obviously I can't make the decision for you, but I can tell you some things about life in the Navy, which may give you more of an insight as to if you want to join the Navy or if you don't want to join the Navy, I hope that you do because I would love to see you out here though. So first things first, the military in general, especially on the enlisted side, is a very different lifestyle than what you would be used to as a civilian. Uh, you're going to be waking up early most days, working hard. Um, you know, you might not get as much thanks as you would like by other people around you. Uh, and you're going to meet a lot of different types of people and your life is going to move really, really quick. So uh, where most people would have like a block of their life uh, that which would take like two or three years to do, you're going to do that in like six months, bro. So I've been to two states already. I went to Chicago. Uh, I live in Maryland now. I'm almost done with A school and then I'm going to get orders on a ship somewhere. Um, the reason I really like the Navy and one of my big motivations for wanting to join the Navy is because I really like the travel opportunities which came with being in the Navy compared to being in any other branch. Um, the Air Force and the Army and the Marines, I work with these guys every day and most of their bases are stateside. So the difference between them and the Navy, maybe not the Marines because the Marines are with us a lot too. Uh, we go overseas a lot. We have bases in pretty much every continent, every area. Uh, we are the strongest naval power in the world. So with that, you're going to be seeing a lot of different countries and you can go to different ports, things like that. And you have more of a chance to see more countries than you would if you join another branch like the Air Force. Another really cool thing about the Navy is we got our own football team. We like beat the army. You know, that's like one of our things that we have. Maybe you'll get lucky and get to play on that. I don't really know how that works. But yeah, we have our own football team. Uh, if you do have a college degree, I would advise that you try to go the officer route. Uh, just saying I've not really had much interaction with a lot of officers, but I do know that they tend to get treated better. They get better facilities, things like that. And that's because of their education. Um, obviously respect to all officers. I don't really have much perspective on that, but, uh, I see them. I hear about the life that they live and yeah, it comes with a little bit more responsibility, but honestly, if I could, I would go the officer route. Uh, if I didn't just come out of high school or join the Navy. Another reason to join the Navy in 2023 is the benefits. I know the economy is hard out here. People need health care. People need a constant source of pay. You get paid on the 1st and the 15th of every single month, and you always know what is on that check. Uh, right now, I'm the lowest of the low E1, but uh, in like two months, I rank up. So that'll be pretty cool and start getting paid more. And as time goes on, you're going to be making more money and it's always going to be consistent and you're always going to have a place to live. The military pretty much takes care of you, like everything that you need for the most part, all your basic housing stuff. That's like all covered by the military. So like I've lived in the barracks. I don't really worry about bills or anything like that. The, the most most people worry about is like a car payment and Wi-Fi and a phone. If you don't have somebody helping you with that, uh, my family has like a family plan, so I don't even have any bills right now, which is pretty nice. 
uh, compared to some of the other guys. But I mean, you don't even need that stuff though. For the most part, like you can typically pay like 15 bucks to get on somebody else's Wi-Fi if you're in like barracks. So, I mean, it's not that bad. With that, like a lot of your money just ends up going to like cool stuff. Like I don't like going to the galley or uh, here it's called the defect because I live on an army base. But like I don't like eating at the chow hall, so I'll just buy my own food. Like I'll buy like ramen and things like that. And they have stores which will accommodate for that. So like if you don't want to eat at the chow hall, you could go buy your own groceries and like it's nice and you get to kind of like live kind of am independent, semi independent. Um, when you're lower enlisted like me, you have a lot more um, like musters, check in times, things like that. A little bit less freedom. So like in the lower enlisted days when you're a junior sailor, you're not gonna have as much freedom as you might hope to have. Uh, if you're a little bit older, that might be harder for you. I know a lot of people who are like late 20s, even like 24, 25, it's a hard adjustment because you're used to kind of being out on your own. But for me, it's perfect because like, I never really had much freedom because I was just a kid. So like coming out, it's like kind of, earning earning my way through the navy making my way and that that gets you more respect with your peers people higher up and also more respect with yourself because you just earn that earn that freedom earn everything and like that's a really cool progression to have in the navy it gives you a lot of confidence because it's like when you start off as a seaman recruit and you work your way up to like petty officer second class you know you're gonna feel way more accomplished than you would if you're just working at McDonald's back home or just some random nine to five where you live. So it's a nice change of pace. And um, with every rank and the naval culture, it's like, it's a really good feeling to like progress and move through that. My advice to anybody trying to join the Navy though in 2023 is try to do good on your ASVAB. Um, try to get waivers for the job that you want. I would say, honestly, find a job that you specifically want. Learn about everything which has to do with that job or as much information about that job as you can so that you pick the best job. I got very, very lucky and I ended up getting an MC billet, which is like the public affairs for the Navy. Uh, I would take pictures of uh, ships, we make videos, things like that. So that was something that was really in my lane. I like being creative, so that was a great job for being in the Navy. Um, but I mean, if you're trying to do something more like spec war, you need to find out the requirements for that and try to go for that. I'm just saying, you gotta think about your quality of life because if you're gonna be signing a four year contract, that's four years of your life. So you wanna at least have like the best life possible while you're in, in case you decide to re-enlist or not, you wanna be able to look back on this time of your life. So just take it seriously and try to really just hone in and do a good job, prove yourself. And yeah, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Sorry I haven't really been posting much like Navy videos. I got a little burnt out um, and I was focused on like making music and stuff. And also A school, cause reminder, I got two months till I graduate. So like a lot of these videos, like I was like a boot or I'm like kind of coming up, but I'm super duper close now. So I'm just trying to keep my head down, keep working. But yeah, congratulations to all of you trying to make that life decision. Uh, I hope that it works out good for you if you are trying to join the Navy, if you're just trying to get some insight, hopefully this video does help you. Um, personally, my experience in the Navy has been pretty bomb. Um, yeah, I wouldn't discourage anybody for joining the Navy. Go ahead and give it a shot if you haven't. Uh, just make sure you really think about the decision, make sure it's right for you. Um, but yeah, I appreciate each and every single one of you. Go ahead and leave a like on this video. Uh, I got some of my music linked down below if that is something that you're interested in. If not, I completely understand. I'm gonna be trying to post a little bit more videos for you guys. But uh, yeah, shout out to the Navy. The Navy's dope. Uh, this video represents itself as a civilian. Peace.